Derek Craig here with Magnus Broadheads. Uh, we get asked all the time, will your fixed blaze broadheads fly out of crossbows? And in particular, the extremely fast crossbows that are manufactured today, those that are shooting 400 foot per second and faster. And so today we're, today we're gonna do a little bit of uh, field testing on them. And uh, so we're gonna shoot some Magnus 125 grain Black Hornets and the Magnus 125 grain Stinger buzz cuts. Um, I got a couple screwed on to my bolts here. Again, Black Hornet. That's the uh, regular Black Hornet. The Sair Razor is the same blade profile. They fly exactly the same. And this is a Stinger buzz cut. These are 125s. 100s work just as well. Um, these are just kind of out of my personal stash that I've got, and I shoot a lot of 125s. So, anyways. Before we really get rocking with this video is I got a couple shout outs and thank yous to those in the industry. Um, you know, so we wanted to get a fast shooting crossbow. So we reached out to Matthews and they sent us this mission SUB one XR that's sitting here behind me. So I've shot it some over the last few days and got it all dialed in. Uh, and then we also want to thank uh, Black Eagle. They sent us these Zombie Slayer bolts. Uh, these are an awesome bolt, uh, 22 inch long, looks like uh, three uh, thousandths straightness. So anyways, these are an awesome bolt. So I've got this thing all dialed in for these bolts. So what they sent us uh, also, wanna say uh, thank you to Morel Targets. They sent us their high roller broadhead target that's sitting down there. And so we're going to shoot at that today. So again, thank you to our, you know, friends in the industry. Uh, you know, we reached out and was and looking for some bolts and a crossbow and a target, and they were uh, kind enough to step forward and donate them for a little bit of a test video. So, anyways, right now I got this thing set up at 20 yards. So we're going to take a shot with field tip, and then each one of these uh, broadheads, the black hornet and the uh, the buzz cut, at 20 yards, and then we're going to move back at some further ranges, and we're going to show you that a fixed blade Magnus broadhead will fly wonderfully out of these high speed crossbows. Okay, so we're sitting here at 20 yards. I got the Morel target up there sitting on the green bucket. On the white bucket is another camera. So you're gonna get the impact in real time on camera and then also the crossbow shot. And I'll walk up after these three shots and you'll see the real, the real results. So the first up is 125 grain field tip, and I'm gonna shoot the middle dot of those three dots up there. Right in there. Next up is going to be a 125 grain Magnus Black Hornet, and I'm going to shoot the upper left dot. Almost the exact same point of impact. Okay, now we got a Magnus. Stinger buzz cut, 125 grain. I'm going to shoot this into the lower right dot. All those are right there in that dot. Just so nobody can accuse me of messing with anything, you'll notice the camera has never cut. Field tip, field tip, black hornet, buzz cut. 20 yard setup. Caught on that little camera as well. There you go. Get around here so the sun can see me. 
so there you have it um that's 20 yards that's literally unrehearsed outside just dialing in the crossbow with field tips uh, so in fact that's a brand new target and those are the first three shots ever in that target so we're going to back up to some longer ranges and shoot some broadheads and show you how well they fly all right same deal we are at 40 yards right here i've got the little camera up there on the white bucket so you're going to see this in real time i'm not going to cut the camera you're going to get what you get um, first up is going to be a 125 grain field tip for the middle dot here we go right in there next up is 125 grain black hornet Top left dot. On the left edge of that dot right there. 125 grain stinger buzzcock, 40 yards. Uh, bottom right. Right there in the white dot. Almost exactly the same point of impact as that field tip. Let's walk up here and check them out. I won't cut the camera. Alright, 40 yards. There's a little camera recording it. And you can see I was off to the left with my Black Hornet. Uh, probably me, because I know that I've tried them before and been right on, but middle's the field tip. Bottom right is the uh, buzz cut, and top left is the Black Hornet. And not making excuses for myself, I don't shoot crossbows very much. It's not that they're difficult to shoot, but when you don't shoot them very much, Sometimes you can be off just a little bit, but that's pretty impressive. I uh, just basically sighted the thing in, it was all. So we're gonna try a little longer shooting. All right, so here we go. It's kind of unscripted, 100 yards. So target's way down there. I'm gonna zoom to it, and I'll come back and shoot. I have no idea how well this will work. There's a the target way down there, 100 yards. Field tip, 100 yards. That middle, well, the only dot on the red target. Eye on the target. If I get all three of these just in the red target, I'll be happy. 125 grain black hornet. I'm dealing with probably an eight to 10 mile an hour crosswind as well. I've never shot this crossbow at 100 yards, so I never shot this crossbow before yesterday either. Dang, but that far below the white dot. Hundred and twenty five grain Magnus buzz cut. Hundred yards. Again with eight to ten mile an hour crosswind here. I hit low, actually hit into the black target below it, but 
it's reasonable. Left to right is great. Uh, just up and down. So let's walk up here and check them out. So again, this is this is 100 yards. This is unscripted. This is a crossbow that was just lent to us. I spent, this is day two with it. If you're gonna shoot a crossbow, you're gonna spend more than the handful of times that I've shot one or a particular one. So, you know, obviously you can dial yours in better. There's a lot of different bolts to try as well. Sometimes different bolts work better in different setups. These are great bolts, these Black Zombie, or uh, Black Eagle Zombie Slayers, they're great. Maybe there's bolts that might work better in your setup, I don't know. All I know is, for those who say, can you make a fixed blade broadhead fly out of a high speed crossbow? And that one's rated for, I think, 410 foot per second. Obviously, depending on your bolt weight, your you know mileage is gonna vary, so. But, they will definitely fly. Actually, that last one hit right below the target. So here you go. 100 yards that I just walked. And here are the results. So the top one was the field point, And I was kind of arbitrarily aiming, to be honest. There's a 100 yard spot on that scope, but it was kind of arbitrary. This was the Black Hornet. And this was actually the buzz cut. There is the buzz cut. So again, I'll take it. There's our little camera. They recorded them. All right, so there we go. Um, do fixed blade, quality fixed blades, Magnus broadheads, made in the USA, fly out of a high speed crossbow? I think we can say based on the shooting today that yes, they do. Um, remember that every Magnus broadhead is made 100% in the USA with, with USA materials and USA labor. They all come with a zero, no questions asked, lifetime, no BS warranty. If you break, bend, damage a head in any way, shape, or form short of losing it, all you have to do is take a photograph of the head with your smartphone, email it off to Magnus Broadheads, and with your information and they'll send you a new one free of charge. Uh, it's the only head out there that we know of that every single head is dialed in with the tip to the center line within three thousandths of an inch. The theory being, if you get that tip right there dead nuts on that center line of the shaft of the broadhead, that if you're using the right spine bolt or arrow, depending if it's a crossbow or a bow, it can't not fly well out of a tuned setup. So anyways, again, Check them out. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to uh, friends of ours within the industry who donated some products for this video. Uh, this Matthews Mission uh, Sub 1XR crossbow. Huge thank you to Matthews Mission. Um, great products. You know, obviously a uh, an elite uh, manufacturer within the archery and crossbow industry. Uh, huge shout out to Black Eagle for sending us some of these cool zombie slayers. This is a great bolt. Um, I'm not a crossbow guy. I, honestly, this is the first I've ever shot these. And uh, these are awesome. And they got just a badass looking logo for them. So, but these are a great bolt and really want to thank them. Huge shout out to them. Huge shout out to Morel as well for sending us that target. Uh, looking forward to uh, putting out some more broadhead shooting videos as time goes by using that target. Uh, it held up really well today. I was very impressed with it. Uh, pretty easy to pull uh, the bolts out as well. So huge thanks again to, the, to all of them. Again, Magnus Broadheads. You can get them at magnusbroadheads.com. You can get them at all your local bow shops. Hopefully all your local bow shops. Uh, obviously the big box uh, type of hunting retail outlets as well. Um, look out for counterfeits. Don't buy counterfeits on eBay and Amazon. Only buy the real product right here. So that's it. Uh, God bless. Be safe this year out there hunting, whether it's with the bow or a crossbow or a gun. Uh, enjoy uh, the great outdoors that we've been given. And, uh, you know, I hope you shoot the buck of your dreams this year. Magnus Broadheads.